folks, it's Gary GSF. Today's a bit of an instructional video. I'm going to be fitting a top box to my new scooter, uh, a C400 GT BMW. So it's a shad rack, comes in two bits, uh, no bolts or anything with it, it just uses the original fittings. Uh, so uh, without further ado, we'll get into uh, to doing that. With BMW, uh, you need Torx bits. Uh, which I have in this little box, uh, just use a half inch drive. So, uh, first things first is to get the, the ram to seat up, so we'll get on the that. Now, this tub doesn't have to come right out, it's just to let you get in at the, the screws or uh, to get underneath where the grab handles go. So, so it doesn't have to come right out. First bit. Now you've got here, here, it's one here, and two smaller ones down here. Uh, have to go, and then there's two underneath, so we went on to that. Right, T25s of these. I think that's it, but you have a couple underneath where, where the, you have a couple of screws each side underneath where the side panel goes onto it. So uh, I'll lift the camera off and show you that. Okay, there's the side of the bike. And underneath, you can see one there and one there. And that's the same on both sides. Right now that's the tub loosened up so I can get up the, the bolts for the grab handles. So uh, so far so good, everything's going quite well. So let's see what size parts like this will be. I think it's bigger than that, I think it's only 45. This first grab handle off, and now I feel the grab handle on this side.
right. I'll just like grab handle off as well. So, all good. Right, your kit comes with this tape. It's just protective tape for your paintwork where you put the, the thing. It has to be cut into 85 millimeter strips. So that's what I'll do now, and we'll get that stuck on, and then we'll get right. reassembled. The little stickers go on here, 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 and here, just to protect the paintwork. So here we go. And they need to be doubled up so I need to fit the racks with the grab handles so make sure I get the right side that looks like it that looks like the grab handle First side on, not tightened yet of course. without any dramas. Now just to put the tub back in. Well, that's what we call it. <laughs> we'll go with tub anyway. Looks like a tub.
Right, well, that's the rack done. Next bit is the box, so uh, I'll take a breather and then put the box on. Now you'll see I'm putting a ghillie plate on the shad box. Should be interchangeable okay, so uh, here we go. Because this isn't brand new, you'll see I've had this on other bikes before. So take out the little grub screws. The old grub screws out, I can then get at this. Okay, as you can see, these are universal. You put uh, your screw, as you can see, a slotted, uh, that's a slotted washer and a nylock nut. So, what to do? I'm going to make sure that it is. Uh, Lined up. I think I shall get a little bit of uh, copper grease for these. Uh, so just take a look. The old pot, a bit of copper grease, and away you go. Bob's your teapot, as you would say. So yeah, just put them on so they can be adjusted. So. Yeah. Copper grease for the press. Have to adjust a little bit. So it's alright. Grease and valuable for things that may have to come apart again. And this this box has been on oh, numerous bikes. Right. Right, a bit strange. Uh, 8mm screws uh, with 10mm bolts, or with 10mm nuts, but uh, there we go.
Oh, a little clip which really doesn't do anything. And a few little grub screws to keep it in. It. Just now, time to put the box on. And there we go. There's the the box on uh, the back of the bag. Put the seat down and give you the side view. There you go. And that's it with the side view.